We have been hearing the term social distancing for some time now. It is the practice of keeping physical space between people to reduce the chances of spreading contagious respiratory infections like COVID-19. And since early 2020, when COVID-19 was designated as a pandemic, governmental enforcement of social distancing has occurred to varying degrees around the world. And studies show that this social distancing has made a difference. For example, a team of researchers at UC Berkeley recently published a study of the effects of these policies on the COVID-19 pandemic in China, South Korea, Italy, Iran, France, and the United States. Their estimates, which are based on a comparison of the predicted exponential growth rates to observed growth rates, estimate a prevention of approximately 530 million total infections in those six countries alone. Did you know that many wild animals have their own instinctual versions of social distancing to prevent infections within their communities? Spiny lobsters, for example, are usually social animals that share dens with other lobsters. But a laboratory study published in Nature in 2006 showed that healthy lobsters will actively avoid sharing dens with other lobsters who are infected with a virus that is both lethal and contagious in lobsters. Similarly, a 2018 study on fish found that healthy guppies will use both visual and chemical cues to avoid mating with other guppies that are infected with the Gyrodactylus tremboli parasite. And honeybees take even more extreme measures. There are some bacterial diseases that could kill an entire honeybee colony if an outbreak were to occur. But bees can smell chemicals associated with this infection and have been observed to identify and physically remove the disease from the nest which ultimately prevents the spread of these infections in the hive. Humans practice social distancing not on instinct, but as a decision based on an educated understanding of how viruses work. We know that we can work together to make lifestyle changes that reduce the transmission of contagious diseases. As businesses begin to reopen and communities around the world loosen restrictions, it is important to remember that SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19, still exists and we can help to reduce its transmission by continuing to make smart personal choices, including washing our hands, wearing face coverings when necessary, and of course, social distancing. If you like this video, remember to like, subscribe, and comment below. And for more information on COSI, Columbus, Ohio's Center of Science and Industry, visit COSI.org.